Congress has gone to the dogs, at least the fourth floor of the Cannon Building. Cronkite News reporter Katie Bieri has a story from Washington that just might give you pause. For the most part, Congressman David Schweikert's staff is pretty accommodating. But a couple staffers especially won't give you the back of the hand. Or should I say paw? Oh, she's strong. We actually have an office tradition. Babies and canines are always invited. Um, we haven't convinced anyone to bring their cat yet. Yes, and the chaos continues. It's a policy appreciated by all his staffers. Just the peace of mind that he's not home alone, destroying my apartment. I don't think I've ever left her at home. And yes, Congress might have a pack mentality, but Schweikert welcomes dogs from both sides of the aisle. I know my dog at home is a Democrat because he expects me to clean up after him. He expects me to feed him. And visitors leave the office with a tale to tell. It was kind of a nice surge of happiness to be able to come in and actually see an animal in the office, a congressman's office. <laughs> it was just a nice kind of welcoming environment. It makes you feel more comfortable coming in. So besides some minor work annoyances. We have probably 20 of these around the office. Something, an MMI or it's all worth it. It was it Harry Truman who said, if you want a friend in Washington, D.C., get a dog. Um, so we have, we have two. We at least have two friends. Dixie, Dixie. In Washington, Katie Beery, Cronkite News.